Hi, everyone, and welcome to this special chat between myself and Leah Gramanis, founder and CEO of Up With Women. Earlier this month, we were thrilled to announce CG's new philanthropic partnership with Up With Women, which is a nonprofit dedicated to helping at risk women and gender diverse individuals build prosperous careers and businesses with the aim of permanently exiting poverty. Program participants undergo a year-long intensive program of career and entrepreneurship-based coaching, group support sessions, and soft skills development. Up With Women is a natural fit for CG. We have a 50 plus year track record of supporting entrepreneurs and helping them achieve their dreams. This partnership will allow us to deepen our impact and support more women from diverse communities. Our financial support will help 20 women across Canada in the coming year in their journey from low income and risk of homelessness to building a sustainable career and pathway out of poverty. Our partnership will also include opportunities for you to deepen your understanding and get involved. These include education sessions where Up With Women program participants will share their stories and talk about the impact CG support is having. Participant coaching, our employees will have the ability to share their knowledge and expertise with program participants. And fundraising challenges where you will get the chance to participate in fundraising initiatives to help boost our impact. We really hope you'll all take the opportunity to get involved. So Leah, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, you have such an inspiring personal story and maybe we can jump in and you could tell us more about your story and how you came to found Up With Women. Yeah, of course. Well, you know, and thank you for having me. Um, you know, so my story really began, you know, Up With Women was really started as a result of a promise that I made on my shelter bed when I was a homeless teenager. And, you know, I had a fairly normal childhood lived in poverty, but I had a fairly normal childhood. It was never violent until the day that my grandmother discovered that she had cancer and she died within a matter of weeks. And that sent my father and my uncle uh, spiraling from grief to rage to violence. And it got so severe to the point where my uncle actually threatened to kill me. And so I became your typical runaway. You know, I'd run away from home whenever things got bad at home, and then I'd run right back whenever things got bad out there. By the time I entered into that shelter, I was finally in safety. But my only question was, do I live or do I die? Because what's the point of living if your life is going to be one of constant struggle and constant re-victimization, right? And so, um, and you know, all the proof that I had when I was in the shelter uh, of what my future could be was exactly that, because nobody ever came back. Those people who managed to turn their lives around, we didn't know about them because they never came back to say, look where I am now. I got out of this. This isn't a dead end. Mm -hmm. The only people who ever came back were the people who still needed help. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, it was so easy to believe that, that we would have nothing, mm -hmm. that we would be entitled to nothing. And so, you know, the day that I decided to live was the day that I made the promise on my shelter bed mm -hmm. that I would come back and I would help other women to rebuild their lives faster than I could. Finally, you know, when I was at the top of my field, that's when they decided to pay for a coach for me, my mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know what a coach was, but I found out at $500 an hour. And then I thought, well, you know, geez, you know, I could have used this years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is 20 years after homelessness and I'm finally at the top of my field. And, um, and, you know, so many other people never get there, right? And so that's when I thought, that's when the idea of Up With Women came about. What if we could convince coaches to each commit to serving one woman for a year at no cost? Mm -hmm. And that's how the whole idea started, right? And, you know, now we are, you know, we started with just a small group of 10. And, uh, and then, and we had immediate success. And now... 14 years later, we're across the country, we're serving over 300 women a year, women and gender diverse individuals a year in, um, in the intensive year long program. We have other programs as well. But what we do in this program is we uh, provide one on one coaching for a full year. They also get one on one support from a program manager, usually someone who comes from, uh, who are graduates of the program. Mm -hmm. We have group sessions that take place where everybody gets together and they teach each other and they support each other so they're more unstructured. Mm -hmm. And then we also have group learning sessions where we have subject matter experts mm -hmm. coming in 
and teaching different aspects of entrepreneurship, for example, um, or you know, personal branding, or how to sell yourself in an interview, mm -hmm. things like that. So we're doing so many different things that you know, we're able to deliver this incredibly customized service mm -hmm. that has been able to have instant success. Amazing, amazing. Could you summarize for us how, how you would describe Up With Women's you know, core mission and, and maybe talk a little bit about some of your long-term goals? Yeah, well, so our core mission is that we want to, we want to end poverty for everyone, right? And we believe very strongly that success belongs to everybody. Mm -hmm. So our core mission is to be able to help pe people to build a sustainable pathway out of poverty in a year, right? We want people to exit poverty in a year, no matter how long it's been that they've been living in poverty. And, uh, and we're doing very well with that. I mean, you know, with our clients who have been either unemployed or underemployed, sometimes for years, some of them are coming as newcomers, refugees, uh, you know, many have fled violence. So they're really all rebuilding from scratch. And yet we've had a 230% average annual income increase in six to 12 months in the program. Wow. You know, in the first six months alone, 41% terminate their social assistance or their disability assistance. Disability assistance, right? That is one of the places where we really do see a lot of entrepreneurship because there is so much navigation of disability that needs to take place. And the workplace isn't really supporting people with disabilities yet enough, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so, so, our mission and our vision is, you know, we want to end poverty and then we want to be able to basically replicate this across the country and reach as many people as possible. And being able to have partners like Ken Accord Genuity really makes a difference because again, you guys are so engaged, right? Right out of the gate, you wanted to figure out how can we get engaged? And that's how we build the capacity to be able to make this work better, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we can reach more people, transform more lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about a typical um, participant you know, path or, or program. Uh, journey? Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, so, so the journey typically is, you know, first of all, they would get referred to us from a variety of places. So, you know, we serve people who have been recently homeless or are at risk of homelessness. And as far as we're concerned, anyone living in poverty is at risk of homelessness. Mm -hmm. And so they can be referred to us from the shelters, from mental health associations, from immigrant organizations, from refugee organizations. Mm -hmm. You know, they can be referred to us from all over the place. They could also self-refer. They may have just heard about us in the news. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so they, they get vetted by us. We work really hard to be able to put them through a process of really understanding, uh, you know, are they at a place? You know, if, they're, if they've just recently fled violence and they're dealing with, a, you know, a major custody challenge with an ex-violent uh, partner, um, you know, they may not yet be ready. We need to make sure that they're ready. So by the time they are vetted, they're really ready to be able to take part in this program because it does. it is a fairly intensive program. It requires a lot of independence. But then as we go, you know, they're paired up with a certified coach. Mm -hmm. These are certified, I, International Coach Federation certified coaches. They're also paired up with a program manager who's one of our graduates oftentimes, mm -hmm. right? People with lived experience. Mm -hmm. So they're being supported one-on-one -on -one by two really amazing people. Then they do group sessions where they're supporting each other and teaching each other and coaching each other. But at the same time, they're also doing, um, they're doing group learning programs. Like, so for example, they might want to, uh, for the entrepreneurs, we're looking at understanding legal, accounting, uh, social media, branding. Then we're looking at also personal branding, uh, understanding how to sell yourself in an interview, those kinds of things. But we're trying to take it from a, a new, unique perspective, and we listen all the time to the participants in each cohort to know exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Kind of a customized approach like what you guys yes, do, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Leah, well, yeah, tell us what you're most excited about regarding our partnership. You know what really excites me about it? It's, it's that you know, I haven't met another organization that is so similar to ours as far as the client approach, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we're both organizations that are very, that take a very customized approach. Each client has its own unique path. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to see that kind of alignment right from the outset and to think about those kind of volunteer opportunities where we can really work together, where we both have the same minds, mm -hmm. right? That's the thing that excites me the most. I'm really excited about what we can do together because we both are very similar. Mm -hmm.
in our values. Yes, exactly. And that's what has us very excited about this partnership as well. Here's, here's one beautiful story. So we, you know, 67% of our clients are immigrants or refugees. And, uh, and so one of the stories that comes to mind right now is Mabinti. We have such an incredible diversity of stories that uh, hers is one of the really beautiful ones. And it really proves that customized experience that you know so well uh, really works in that she came here from West Africa. She was a famous dancer in Guinea. She danced for the Ghanaian president. And yet uh, she came here for love. It turned out to be a violent relationship. She ended up in a shelter with her two girls and she could not find work. She could not rebuild and she came into the program and through the program, through her coaching, through the customized service, she built herself a, um, a West African dance company that basically taught children in underserved communities West African dance, uh, West African instrument making and West African culture. And that was serving in Ontario and Quebec. She was one of our Franco-Ontarian clients because we serve in both languages across mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. So that's one example. A very touching story. Yeah. I know you have so many of them and thank you for sharing. And you know, hearing all these stories just you know, reinforces how excited we are to be partnering with you and, and uh, to be on this journey with you. So we really are looking forward to what we're gonna be able to do together in the coming year with the programs that we'll be working on together and hearing more of these stories. So I just wanna thank you for taking the time to be with us today and sharing with us. And again, looking forward to our partnership. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you guys. Come join us. <laughs> This was not supposed to happen to me. I have a BA in information technology. I had a really great job with government. I lived in a middle class home, but I had to leave it all so my daughter and myself could be safe. I was referred to the Up With Women program and they gave me the services I needed to rebuild my career. I met with my coach and she understand my vision. She understand what I wanted, what I wanted to do. I grew up on coconut oil, and I knew all the benefits of it, so I had this vision of making a business out of it. We drew the map so I could start planning to bring my vision to life. I started really small. I had 78 bottles. I approached my friends and family, and they, they, they bought it. I sold to strangers, and they, they were excited. They called me back for reorders. I got my product into a beauty supply store, and I'm currently working on expanding my product line. I know I'm at the beginning of my journey, but I'm here today just to inspire other women that it's okay to reinvent yourself. I want them to find that inner strength that my coach helped me to get and to start over. Okay, that's it. That's it.